This particular truck behind me is our F550 chassis that has been converted into what Skeeter Brush Trucks calls the 6x6 Firewalker. And what I mean by that is that this truck is a true six-wheel drive platform. Um, it is set up as a Type 3 Wildland engine um, mm -hmm. that is designed to go where no other truck would ever go before and to, you know, suppress the fire in a Wildland situation. How many people can fit in it? This particular one, because of all the gear, we can seat three. Three operators will be on board. Um, and you can see inside, there's, there's a lot of tool storage. Um, and this is an actual working fire truck. It's not just a pretty face per se. Right. But this particular one is set up more as like a hybrid rescue unit and not just like your typical brush truck because inside the compartments, there is extrication equipment um, for the first response. So it's not just a dedicated off-road unit. It's, a, you know, kind of like the Swiss Army knife. We can do a little bit of everything. Cool. So how many people can get in here? About two? Three. Three. Um, Three two in the front and then one in the back on the passenger side. Mm -hmm. So is this like a new model or? Um, it, it was new. The the setup is new from Skeeter as a Type 3 Wildland engine. Mm -hmm. um, the chassis itself was newly redesigned in 2017. Ford has just released the 2020 um, Super Duty but they haven't released any of the new specs on any new payload or anything like that on the chassis. So what is it usually used? Because it's more like for like mountain area? Yeah, it's, it's more for a rural, uh, rural. fire suppression, um, you know, forest fires, that type of thing. Now we're gonna give a tour of the truck. Awesome. What's the mileage per gallon, do you know? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, because it's got a lot of equipment, so it's probably, you know, yeah. really heavy. Loaded down this truck with water and occupants, it literally hits the scales at 19,000 pounds. Wow. So, she's heavy. It's like a Humvee for the war zone. How many gallons of water can get in? This particular unit has a 500 gallon water tank, but with the rescue body, we can fit up to 600 gallons of water in between 10 and 20 gallons of class A foam. Foam as well. Hmm. Yes, sir. And what's, what's on top? Is that like a... That's what we call a command light. It's basically for um, scene lighting. If you're in a situation, obviously you're gonna be off-road with this truck. Right. Um, whenever you're away from the city lights, you can get very dark very quick at night. So we use a system like the command light in order to illuminate the surroundings. Oh, wow. And those are the hoses for the water. Yeah, this is actually where we house the Darley pump. Um, it is a variable pump, whether it be high pressure or high volume. Um, and this is just all of the the fittings in order to uh, fill the water in the tanks um, and discharge it for the fire suppression. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, not a problem. Așadar, o mașină de intervenții în caz de incendiu monstru. Deci trei persoane care pot să intre în mașină și Rezervorul de apă, spuma, chiar și de iluminare în caz că intru în zonă mai foarte întuneric. How much it cost? <laughs> um, this one as it sits is about 500,000. So half a million dollars. Wow. Nu vă mai spun prețul. Să vă spun, dacă nu l-ați înțeles, jumate de milion de dolari. Dar probabil că aș face toți banii la ce echipament are și ce știe să facă.